Most generating stations use steam to turn a turbine and make electricity. Once through the turbine, steam must be condensed back into water so it can recycle through the system. This takes place inside a condenser. In the condenser, steam passes over thousands of pipes containing cooler water from an outside source. When the higher temperature steam comes in contact with the cooler pipes, it loses some of its heat and condenses into water. The cooling water that flows through the condenser heats up during this process. Many plants, like Hope Creek, use cooling towers to cool this water during normal operation. Heated water from the condenser flows to the cooling tower and is distributed through pipes in the lower portion, approximately 40 feet high. The pipes contain open valves, or nozzles, that allow the water to fall naturally into the tower basin. As water falls, it heats the air around it, causing warm air to flow up through the cooling tower like a chimney. This creates a natural updraft through the tower. As this air flows over the falling water, the water is cooled through natural evaporation. A man-made cloud of moist air is produced. You see this cloud at the top of the cooling tower when Hope Creek is in operation. Finally, water from the Delaware River is drawn in to replace the water that evaporates during the cooling process.